So what I'd like to do is uh, uh, show you a brief video clip. I put together a little uh, movie clip of the process I used to make these birds. Um, and I want to point out that this is not intended as a how-to video. Uh, it's, it's really just a demonstration um, because all of the uh, standard uh, disclaimers should apply. Um, we use high heat, plasma arcs, uh, saws that can do damage, grinders, all that kind of stuff. So in other words, don't try this at home uh, unless you are well versed in the techniques. But I thought it would be intriguing uh, to share some of the process I use when I do this. So I thought I would uh, throw together a quick video on how I build birds. Um, they're really kind of fun little projects, and uh, the shapes suggest themselves to me. Uh, birds like this one. So you begin with a collection of silverware. And I've got a collection of spoons. And so the first thing you do is find a pair of spoons that you want to use to build your bird. And you then take a pair and put them together uh, see if they match and how they fit and give one a little bend and position them so that you can envision the head of a bird and the belly of the bird and the beak. Usually I pull the top portion forward a little bit and then you can see that that begins to, to resemble something like a bird. And then what I'll be doing is clamping them together with a set of vice grips, like that. And I'll begin by tack welding the beak. And then we'll complete the welds on the beak. So that begins the process. We'll get initial shaping of the beak using a grinder.
it's starting to look a little bit like a bird. The next step is to find a spoon that you're going to want to use for the beginning of the tail and the body. Now to do that, what you want to do is take a spoon like this one and we're going to have to bend it so that the orientation of the spoon part is this, but the tail is made by bending this all the way around and under. Now sometimes you can do that with just your pliers. Other times it's handy to heat the steel. In order to bend steel, it bends much more easily if it's heated. So one thing I'll do is clamp the piece. And we'll heat the steel to red hot. trying to get the curvature that matches the bottom of the spoon at least somewhat. Remember, that piece is hot. So you don't want to handle it with your hands. Even your gloved hands uh, will, will, will burn a little bit. So then we'll see if I've bent this sufficiently. I like to have a very tight fit. There we go. See, I think this is going to work nicely. Then what I'll be doing is, after that cools a bit, I'll clamp that in place and tack weld it up near the throat of the bird. Okay, so what I want to do, you can see I've got the bird clamped up and I'm going to put a couple of tack welds right there near the throat. it's starting to come together. This is the simplest form of a bird in silhouette. 
it's pretty attractive as it is. And now you can choose to add embellishments if you wish. Sometimes I will add a, a more substantial tail. I think that's what I will do on this one. And to do that, we'll find a couple of utensils, spoons, or forks that have attractive handles. I'll cut those handles, weld them into place, and that'll give a more of a fan-shaped tail. So oftentimes, I spend more time looking through my silverware than I do welding. Uh, I found a pair of matched spoons, cut off the uh, handles, and ground them to shape and put a tack weld there so that I could easily insert it into the existing bird. Now, what I'll do, if I've done this reasonably well, I've got a really tight fit here that I can jam this up underneath and it, it will hold at least long enough for me to again reach in and tack weld either from the side or at the bottom whichever one seems to be best and I think these will be welded in the bottom because I actually made that fit even tighter than is necessary okay so I'll align these and then we will stabilize that with a weld. Pretty, but it's on the underside. Okay, now these need to be aligned a little better. So while it's hot, I will force these a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's pretty nice. Got it. Alrighty. Speed that down. And there we have, again, a reasonable, simple bird silhouette. Now, you can add forms for eyes or uh, feathers at the head if you want. I would cut the tines of a fork to do that. Uh, I think on this one, I'm going to keep it a simple silhouette like this for this demo. And the next step, then, is to put some legs on. <coughs> so for that, what I've done is I cut the tines of a fork fork and I'll weld these to the bottom of the bird in such a way that they'll be oriented to resemble legs that I can then attach to a base of some kind. have some some legs we can curve those or bend them however we want now for this bird I've gone into my stash of gears and plate 
And what you'll notice I've got here is a, uh, a piece of mild steel uh, that I've polished up with the grinder. And uh, then I took a gear and, and cut a cord out of it so that I could put the remaining gear like that. So I'm going to tack that together and I'll use that as the base for my bird. And there's a close to finished bird.